Let's look at a few riffs, a bunch of riffs from Plaid, Blue Saracino's second solo album. The first one, you know, he kind of exploded as a very young <laughs> sort of hotshot player. I uh, never look back. That was a great album, and uh, Hairpick is good as well, of course. He's so, so great. But Plaid, to me, had the most memorable playing and riffs and recording and whatever, so uh, I always gravitate back to, to Plaid. So I thought it'd be cool to break down just a few of the riffs. Let's start with the opening track. <laughs> I always think his guitar tone has that real mid push, those sort of dirty boy amps that his, his dad made, uh, I think, from memory. On Platt, I think he was using those. I assume he was. It's got some different sounds throughout the album, but on this one, to me, it sounds more mid pushed. All right, we're starting with this sort of idea. <laughs> Same thing, sort of uh, going from a D minor up to an E minor, minus seven. Okay, so we're going to be uh, doing the A and then chromatic. Okay, now then the next one is not the Hendrix chord. In other words, that first finger is not there. Listen to the difference if the first one, if your first finger was there, without. Okay, so it's not there. Nice little three, three note chord there. Dip the bar. Same thing, up two frets. Okay, now we're doing a little sort of blues turnaround, right? We're in the key of E, going to a blues turnaround. It's got a power chord here with the octave on top, okay, because you're bringing that B string in, you've got to move that finger up, okay? So it's A. Hit it once, then, then a dip with the bar. Then that flatter kind of thing, easy with a Floyd Rose. Okay. Bend into the F. So you're basically going. Okay, nice little blues turnaround there. So again. Then a little. <laughs> Something like that, right? Now, he might be doing the open strings. I find it harder to control there. And because I'm kind of already there, coming down on that last chord, uh, I come down E, B, A, G sharp. And then... <laughs> All right, last train out. Elvis talking, I think this is the hardest one, one of the hardest ones definitely, and it's a really fun riff around F sharp minor pentatonic. Okay, F sharp minor pentatonic, add the blues note, add the Dorian note, add a chromatic run between the flat seven and the seven. So some chromatics in there, uh, but that's where you're thinking. If essentially box one of the minor pentatonic on F sharp, that's the ballpark that you're in. And the key, the key is the swung, feel that he has at speed. It's really fast. It doesn't sound that fast, but it's it's hard, man. It's really hard to play. All right, I'm gonna do it slowly and uh, and we'll break it down just a little bit. Chromatic up. Bend. On those two notes, I do hybrid picking, uh, but you do pick if that's, uh, if you're kind of comfortable with that. Pull off. Okay, and then 
that you know that really that kind of thing so you're f- flattening your fourth finger on the fifth fret picking it and then sliding it down Sharp minor pentatonic. That's the first part. Second part. All right. minor pentatonic, right? Slide those up. And then, got to keep your pinky on the root there, that F sharp, and pull that flat five off. Next part. Oh. <laughs> it's tough, man. It's a great one to practice. And then flatten. Next one. That's a beautiful one. Finishing it off. <laughs> so great. Elvis talking. Good luck with that one. Okay, the scratch, uh, easier one, it is, uh, well, I use middle pickup. I don't know exactly if it's there, but it's got a, an interesting sound. Not a clean sound, but certainly not stored. It's kind of that breakup, edge of breakup sound. Middle pickup, um, I slide down from the G sharp, hit an octave E, and then we're in power chord territory. F sharp, G, A. And then chromatic from the fourth fret up on the A string, but use the bottom string as well, okay? Then a ninth chord, a fret below the E, and bring it into the E. Okay, watch the mutes in between. Okay, those down up mutes in between. the scratch. beautiful ballad we are in C minor really sort of a okay that's sort of a thing I put together sort of a little backing track because you know I can't play exactly note for note on top of what he's doing but it's all about you know uh, whammy bar and you know slight bands and all those control of course of the distortion C sharp minor pentatonic sorry C minor pentatonic is uh, is what you're thinking here <laughs> Okay, we're going to do uh, these notes of the minor pentatonic, the E flat to the B flat. We're going to bend down on the E flat and release up on the B flat. It's 
a little bit of vibrato there. Up to the C. Okay, hammer on pull off, but he comes down with a nine. That nine is the D, right? C, D, it's a second. Second, same thing as a nine. And he's bending up to that E flat there. Like really, really nice, uh, nice feel there. Okay, same thing, gonna bend into the B flat. Pull off to the G, then we're gonna bend up. That nine up to the E flat, and then hammer and pull off there. Beautiful. Next time though, the note that he starts on, F. F isn't in a C minor chord anywhere. I mean, it is if you go up to the 11, it's the 11. Um, and so it's got that sound of not being native to the chord, but on a minor chord in particular, the 11 sounds beautiful. It's a great extension to play on it, right? And he'll bend the bar into it. And then he's coming down, uh, Dorian. That A. That's really nice there. Bit of a repeat of the octave is E flat to D, E flat to D. We've got a nice little string skip here. E flat, B flat, up to C. And this one's tough in terms of downstrokes on four strings. Nice there, he's sliding up from the B flat to C and then from the E flat, he's going down an arpeggio there. You're flattening your third finger there. Again, outlining the D, at the D here and the D down the octave. And then some minor pentatonic to finish it off. We're same uh, as we've had before. In terms of a theme there, Friday's Walk, beautiful. <laughs> All right, Goeth, again, the hard part here is the speed plays it really quick, and my right hand is probably the weakest part of my playing, so it's uh, this one's tricky. Starting off with the Hendrix chord, C7 sharp 9. Okay, then we're going to go open E and do some chromatics. Okay, watch the double hit on the G. flat five and then a ninth chord sort of without the high string slide in all right fast. <laughs> a nice tone he's got there. I don't know what he was using. I think actually, I think I read an interview or I saw a YouTube with him that he was uh, he had sort of thing with Ibanez and it was an RG550 a white one so it could have been that, that he was using um, but it's really nice. You're in and around C minor pentatonic okay? Hammer on uh, 8 up to 10 hybrid picking the next two F9. 
nine. E flat and then drop that fifth to a flat fifth. Nice, that first part. And then you got a, a pull off for E flat to an A before you go around, all right? Second time. We're going to do that 70 thing again, sort of like an F7, but without the F. Slide bend up and then hammer on up to the major third. Okay, that part. Third time. Same as the first. A fourth time. Just the first part. X21. Okay, so a few riffs, a bunch of riffs, I suppose, from Blue Saracino's second solo album, Plaid, played Plaid. Uh, it's a great one. Good luck, break him down, practice him. The thing he's got, he plays it swung generally and at speed. <sighs> Hard combination a la Eddie Van Halen. All right, good luck. See you next time.